This is going to be a no nonsense video showing you how to uninstall native instruments plugins the easy way. I'm also going to leave a list of my top Nave Instruments plugins down below in the description. So be sure to check that out if you need some new source. But before we run into this old acquaintance and pretend not to see them, I've got a question for you. Question is, what's the best way to learn how to create your own beats from scratch? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later on in the video. All you need to do is stay tuned. So let's get right into this. You may have opened up Nave Access and try to uninstall a plugin or two and the only option you're gonna get over here is reinstall <laughs> no uninstall only reinstall okay so i'm going to show you the steps you actually have to go through to get rid of a plugin or uninstall it because it's not working or if you don't need it what you need to do is go to the start menu down here type in uninstall and this will bring you to add or remove programs so you can type in uninstall you can type in add or remove programs whatever you want you can also take the long way and go through the control panel but what's the point of doing that when you can take the quick way like i've just shown you after you've taken the steps i've directed you to it will bring you to this page at this point you can scroll down and find the plugins that you want to install or you can go to this search bar and type in the name of the plugin for example if i wanted to uninstall xhell i would type in exhale and here you can see we've got output exhale i can click on this and i can uninstall it if i wanted to get rid of guitar rig i'll type in guitar and as you can see native instruments guitar rig left click and we can uninstall it that's as easy as it is very very straightforward all you need to do is go through the normal uninstall methods then after you hit uninstall follow the instructions that come up on the uninstaller basically you'll have to hit next and next and next however if you want to completely uninstall these plugins because these will still show up in like fl studio and any daw you're using you will need to go to the place where you have it installed and now this may change depending on where you chose to install it for example if i go to where i install most of my plugins i can come here and i can see guitar rig 5.dll that's what you're looking for you're looking for the dll file of the actual things that you want to uninstall and here you just want to delete this from your install sections okay so wherever you install your plugins go there and delete the dll files for the plugins that you want to uninstall that will give it a cleaner delete so that it won't pop up in your daws and give you issues down the line and that's that but now it's time to answer the question that i asked you earlier and that question was what's the best way to learn how to produce your own beats from scratch the answer is use my nine step easy trap beat making formula click on the link down below go to jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course this is a completely free course that will take you from creating your melody all the way to mastering your beat and it's absolutely free so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course because it's not going to be available forever. Make sure you join ASAP, link down below, as well as links to my top Nave Instruments plugins and a bunch of other great stuff like my beat mixing templates that will have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage. I'm sure you'll love that. Now, if you have any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Go and check out that video next and I'll see you next time. Peace out.